Film Cyberspace, there's one place you can go. Welcome to KWTV. Today we're going to talk about the Geek Palace. The Geek Palace, the crib of the geek where he has all his goods and all his goodies and all his computers set up. As you can see, I have collected a fair amount of equipment with me. This is my 15-inch MacBook Pro. These are two 19-inch uh, TFT Mirai TVs, TVs, LCDs, and this is of course the 24-inch iMac. The table that you see before me is 1 meters and 50 centimeters wide, and today we're going to try to set up all of this equipment as efficiently as possible while using the smallest amount of space that we can use, yet getting the maximum output out of all of this gear to make the ultimate geek palace. The one thing geeks tend to forget is that less is in fact more. I used to have a computer room that was about the size of this entire room and an office that was about three times the size of the table that I'm sitting on. It was filled with CRT screens and towers and keyboards and what have you and it all made for a very very powerful work environment and a very very powerful geek room but it wasn't very efficient. It was too cluttered, it was too big, it took up too much space and it was enormously environmentally unfriendly. What I'm going to try to do today is recreate a geek room, a real geek core, a command center with as much as efficiency as possible. That means as much as computers or operating systems that we can possibly cram into all this, but all using as less equipment as we can, as few computers as we can. And as little space as we can. I'm going to try to fit it all on a, on a table that is 1 meter and 50 centimeters wide and I'm going to use all the hardware that I mentioned earlier. Now my setup is that I want to work with one or two physical computers at the same time, want to have several screens at my discretion and want to have the ability to work with the three major operating systems at the same time. I want to work with a Linux distribution, I want to work with the Windows XP distribution and I of course want to also work with my Mac OS X. The way I'm going to do this, I'm going to split all of this up into two major parts. The first part is going to consist of the 24 inch iMac workstation. The second part is going to be powered by the 15 inch MacBook. As to how I will divide everything, we'll show you a little bit later on. But the software that we're going to use in this little setup is called Virtual um, not virtual, VMware Fusion, sorry, that is a virtual machine program that allows us to run several instances or several computers virtually. And we're going to use a little tool called Teleport that will enable us to control our Mac, uh, our MacBook and our iMac with the same keyboard and the same mouse. Because the one thing that you don't want when you're using several computers and several screens is having to use several keyboards. It's just not very practical. So the entire setup is going to be one MacBook Pro, two 19-inch screens, one 24-inch iMac, and of course, don't forget, um, one keyboard and one mouse. Well, here you have it, the finished result. As you can see, the 24-inch iMac is mounted in the middle and the two screens that I had were mounted using those arms on both sides. Now the trick what I did is very simple. I installed an application on here called Teleport. Teleport will allow me to control one, uh, one to use one keyboard and one mouse and to control two Macs at the same time, the PowerBook and of course also the iMac 24 inch. Now I do this, I just take the mouse, leave the screen, go to the second screen, as you can see, I'm now controlling the windows on the power on the MacBook Pro, and I'm now controlling the windows on the 24 inch iMac. I'm using just one swoop of the mouse, my mouse teleports over to the other Mac, and there I can control all the windows that I want. 
On the MacBook Pro, I have installed all the chat applications that I need, all the calm clutter like Twitter, like for example Skype, like for example IRC. And of course on the second screen of the Mac, I've used VMware Fusion to run a version of Windows, which I can also control with one swoop, sweep, one broad sweep of the mouse as you can see. I'm controlling this one using the VMware Fusion tools. You can actually leave the virtual machine window, go back into your real computer and using teleport, jump over to the other computer that you're using. On the far side, I've installed a copy of uh, Linux. And this is actually the Ubuntu system. And as you can see, using just one sweep, I can also control this. I haven't really installed VMware tools on this one, so I need to tap the keyboard when I leave the screen. But with this setup, I can actually control one, two, three, four operating systems at the same time. On the bottom of my iMac, I've placed two USB drives, one's hooked up to the iMac, one's hooked up to the MacBook Pro. They take care of the Time Machine backups. And on the back, you can't see it, I have a NAS drive, which stores all of my data centrally. The two VMs are placed in bridged mode. This means that they're on the same network as the iMac and the MacBook Pro and that way I can transfer files easily. The trick in this scenario is use as much power as you can when it comes down to processor and memory. Make sure you have enough processor and enough memory. That way you can actually emulate or virtualize the operating systems that you would otherwise have to set up using a different keyboard and a different mouse. So this is the entire setup that gives me the ability to work with my 24 inch iMac, work with a secondary Mac so I can preserve some system power on this one, run Windows XP in a VM, go all the way back to Linux, run Linux in that same, in another VM using another system and uh, you do it all with one keyboard and one mouse. You can even go a little bit more insane, you can activate um, the virtual desktop function on the Macs that uh, you're using, which is uh, the, the whole spaces thing, and that will actually enable you to have even more virtual spaces or virtual desktops per Mac, but then it gets a little confusing. Keep it simple, that's my idea. The only downside with all of this is when you're moving your mouse around constantly, it's kind of hard to keep track of where it is, and if you have uh, expose enabled like I have over here, that really makes for some really funny uh, things because now I've actually activated Expose on all of my Macs, I've teleported to the MacBook Pro, now I need to teleport back, go back to Expose, you see it's sometimes a little tricky, but it works. Let technology work for you using this simple setup. All you need is two Macs virtual machine software called VMware Fusion and the nice little free application called Teleport which enables you to hook up two Macs to one keyboard and one mouse. You can even make sure that you can copy the clipboard from one Mac to the other or drag files from one Mac to the other. It's all uh, pretty possible, it's all free and it's all a way to let technology work for you. Now, if you don't excuse me, I have a perfect geek setup to get back to.